Good morning, modern steaders. Look at that beautiful, like, pink hue. Look at that sky. That's beautiful. Oh, I wish I could put the drone up right now and get some of that footage. The pigs are waiting. You waiting for your breakfast? There you go. Oop. There you go. Good morning, Figaro. How you doing? Good morning, boys. Caleb, is that you making all the noise? Good morning. Good morning. You want your hoofs trimmed again? Is that what you're saying? Trim my hoofs? Trim my hoofs? Good morning, Mr. Zeke. Good morning. Yes, sir. Pretty soon you're going to be stinky and I won't be able to pet you. You too, Caleb. Pretty soon you're going to be getting stinky and we won't be giving you no more petting in the morning. Huh? Yeah. And your stinky bucks will be leaving you alone. We'll be feeding you from outside. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of the cat there, Caleb? We've got the beautiful sunrise sky, and we got the moon right there. Ah, I love when that happens. on today they're coming to insulate the workshop area I made the executive decision to insulate the milking room the reason we're insulating the milking room is after going through and reading a lot of your comments the audio in here hasn't been the great greatest and then when it rains out it's really loud in here and the auto audio is terrible so we're gonna get spray foam and that should help a lot and then we have some work we need to do to our pasture area so the goats can't escape the new fenced in area. Ah, ah, did you guys miss the bonus video the other day? I'll put a link to that right here. We got the pasture fenced in so now we have just under an acre fenced in for the goats. We have a few finishing touches we need to do. Ah, so exciting guys, so exciting. You know what's not exciting? Willow's milk production is dropping. Oh, Willow, it's that time of the year where your milk is going to get less and less. And pretty soon we'll be breeding her. Last year we, we bred you in what, December, Willow? Yep, it was December. So a couple more months and we'll start breeding our goats. This year we're going to be breeding Willow, Buttercup, and Blossom. And then next year, Hope will get bred. Nigerian dwarf goats, you need to wait till they're 18 months old to breed them. If you want them to get big enough, their frames to be big or small goats. So if they're not big enough, they're going to have complications during birth. And that's not good. So we need to be patient and wait. Thank you, Willow. Come on, let's go. All the ladies in the house. Little pig, you're not supposed to get in the hay feeder. Oh, Blossom, what are we going to do with her? And then once we get a few things tidied up out here, we can open the gate and let the goats out. Ah, 
gonna be so nice having the direct run from the barn to the pasture. We have the workshop area all prepped and ready to go. We got the posts and beams covered in paper because we're still gonna see these exposed. So we don't want the foam getting stuck on this. We have our nailers, so when we go to put our inside paneling up, we'll have something to nail to. We're gonna do about two to two and a half inches of foam for insulation. I put masking tape on all the cracks, so this way the foam can't get through. In the milking room, I put some nailers up, so we'll have plenty of room to nail to. Once it's foamed, we got a nailer here, we can foam underneath and then for the ceiling I put another nailer so we can run our ceiling material and have something to nail to. Come on. Oh, you guys can't just run right into the pasture anymore. You gotta wait, huh? You gotta wait till we open the gate. The dogs love the new. The dogs love the new fenced in pasture too. But we need to do something about this. That would get super noisy in editing. So, I got a solution for that, guys. That's one of the projects we gotta take care of today. The dogs love this area, too. They can stay out here and run around. We hadn't been showing too many of the chickens and the dogs out in the pasture lately because we didn't want to give away the area getting fenced in. A lot of people have been asking about the black copper morans and olive egg layers. <laughs> They're doing great guys, we just couldn't show them. To be laying eggs within the next week or so. The rooster is beautiful right there and he's starting to learn how to crow. And having the new pasture area fenced in is gonna help keep out predators too. It won't keep them all out, but it'll help deter them. Good morning. Pretty soon we'll be walking down the lane. We'll be able to see goats. Figaro. Good morning. You're crazy. We'll be able to see goats out here, guys. <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, all right, so this is gonna be the not so fun part about getting foam. We need to get the milking room cleaned out and the workshop area cleaned out. I want to get everything out because when they're spraying foam, it's like an overspray mist of foam and it can get covered. And we got a vacuum. When they're spraying the foam, it's coming out with air pressure. So if we don't remove the dust, it's just going to get blown around and make a mess for them and then make a mess in return for us. So I bet you they'll be here within a half an hour. So we need to get everything out of the milking room and everything out of the workshop. Now I prepped as much as I can for now. Like I covered up the areas that I don't want getting foam on. They'll have to take care of the doorways and the electrical panel. Cause I don't know, they're gonna need to be able to get in here. So I don't wanna mask it off and have them have to ruin it all or take it all apart to get in. So I got everything done that I know we're good with. They'll have to take care of the rest. So. Let's get the milking room cleaned out. Got our trash bag, our grains. Let's stick this over on the other side for now. Get this 
nice and clean. I don't have any dust blowing around for them. Or minimal dust is blowing around. I know, girls, pretty soon you'll be able to be out on pasture all the time. We just got a few more things we got to do because Little P snuck out yesterday. I know. Yeah, Little P, you. All right, this room's a little more dirty. I'll probably take the vacuum. No, I will take the vacuum along the sills and suck out all this. But we'll sweep out all the big stuff first. It's always neat to watch how things are done, guys. I love seeing and learning new things constantly. It's pretty wild how that goes on. Now they can get it nice and even. Not gonna stay down there. We'll go back and check it out after. We got some stuff we gotta take care of now. All right, guys. You're going in the pasture for now. Ha 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 ha. So because we have Nigerian dwarf goats, they're tiny, the babies could fit through this little gap, and we have super rocky soil. We tried putting the posts for the gates in different spots. We have one, two, three, four, five, at least five or six holes here. So we end up with a little bit extra of a gap, and I know the babies can squeeze through there. So I have a pressure treated two by four. We're gonna cut for there. So 36 and a half that we're gonna fill that with. You look like you dress for winter. 36 and a half. Oh. We got a full battery. Uh, we got two lines. We're gonna use some of our headlocks that are left over from when we built. the firewood shed and barn. Three or four should be good. Maybe, you know what, I'm gonna go to the inside. If you wanna open it this way, 
That's good. <laughs> yep. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. That'll work like so. Shut the gate. I shouldn't interfere with the gate. Cool. No interference. No interference. I like it. So before we move off of this gate, I'll go get that latch system. And we'll try that here. Then we picked up a gate latch. Curious to see how this works. See if this will. The right I know, but that's what they have. Let's see if it'll work. The spacing's got to be just right, I believe. Have to go like this. Let's see, I want to hold that. Right, so we don't need. That we do. Why is that action? It's a spacer. We do. I don't think we need it. But I don't think we got enough room in between our gate either. What's that? I'm gonna put it lower. Huh? Let me see. There's two different ways we could do this. Alright, pull that pin by you. Yep. My finger is right there. No. If we go lower, we don't have enough room. Or we can suck that gate in. So I hate to go too much more. Maybe we'll try the other one. Yeah. What's that? What about the other kind of black? We have to get a different kind, you're saying? Yeah. We can try that. Because I don't want to go. Alright. That's a disappointment. That didn't work. Keys are in it. Already. It's probably not going to show up on camera, but it's high because of the road, and then it dips, so the water runs that way. So we had to have the gate high. We started low here and here. But if we did that, the ground on that side goes back up, so the gate hits. We have to have the gate this high off the ground in order to clear both sides. So we've got to make like a foot wide berm here. Well, instead of talking, we'll show you. And like right here. You stay. Come on in. Stay. Yep. Dump it. Yep, dump it all. Next time, get straighter right here. Yeah, go. We're gonna probably need like three or four.
One more, fuck it. after it compacted down a bit. What? I want to be able to pin this second or this first gate right here shut so that these two gates don't do this. So if I want this gate, let's do this. All right, if I want this gate, say right here, boom. You gotta try to dig a hole. That's gonna be the fun part. Something. All right, hold it over here. 
Oh, it's gonna make my nose, uh... It's gonna be better than Panera. Than yeah. Hopefully. Your other one was better than Panera. Wow. I made try broccoli. Get it in the hole. Who wants to go out the pasture? Come on. Do you want to? You gotta watch out. Hope. Oh, you're well, on the wrong side, girl. You're on the wrong side. Yeah, Hopefully, it's too. Miss Little P proof now. What is Little P proof? We're gonna find out. She's like, nope, I think I found something to eat. Oh, she's like, oh, Hurry! Get it. Get it. What do you think, Willow? Hobie. Tomorrow you'll get to be out all day long. How many you think today? Um, I'm thinking... Fifteen. Fifteen? Okay. I say sixteen. There's quite a few. Two. Four. Six. Look at that, I bet you it's a double yoka. I know. We used to always get them in Massachusetts. Eight. Ten. Twelve. Who said? Fourteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. That's what Livy said yeah, too. That's what I said too. You girls, you girls said fifteen at the same time. Yeah. yeah. You were back there. Right Are you goats going to want to come in at night now or what? Tonight will be interesting. That's it. That's all she's going to do. That's all they're going to do. She was dancing for you. She was. I got the spray foam all finished up. Look at that. Boo doo doo. Now I gotta bring everything back in. The milking room is done. Ah. Yes. This will be the first room that we finish inside. Probably do that next week, maybe? We'll have to wait and see what happens with time. But yeah, I'm excited to see this room all finished off and we're gonna make our storage units so we're getting close guys well i was a little disappointed that that new gate latch didn't work if you guys have any recommendations for different latches leave them in the comments down below 
like to do something different than that chain because that chain is just going to be noisy and irritate me, I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, Insulation's all done. Now we get to work on other parts, another projects for the milking room and workshop. It's going to be fun, guys. Plenty of projects going on here before winter sets in. We got to finish getting the bucks area cleaned up. We got a fenced in area we want to do in the back for them. We gotta get that done before breeding season so we can have like a little breeding pen too. I'll be showing you that in the next couple of days. So busy, busy time, but all good things. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, the guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.